But still, yeah. Yeah. nobody no, wants anyway. to pick up. You don't want to no, pick up a gift that's in the bush, do you? You really? don't. But the bigger issue this week. A bird in the hand is worth. Yeah, two, in two the Christmas bush. presents <laughs> in the bush. Yeah. <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> I don't know. What are you doing here? <laughs> Please just talk about deliveries. Deliveries. Stop. Yes. The uh, reason we're talking about them is because we're spending, we're buying everything online, aren't we? Well, not everything, but £2 in every £5 we spend in the run-up to Christmas is online. So, loads more deliveries, which means loads more drivers having to drop off loads more packages for us. All like this. Well, actually, generally not wrapped, are they, like that, if, particularly if they've been shoved in a bin somewhere. But, so, lots of people having issues about where they've been left, but also are they arriving on time? Mm -hmm. So complaints are reckoned in the last six months on deliveries are up 40%, says one consumer group. So it's a bit of an issue for it, but then we are buying way, way more than we were, so should we give these companies a bit of leeway? What do you do if it doesn't arrive on time? Well, we had a little chat earlier to a consumer expert. He told us what to do. Most delivery companies will have a specified delivery date, by which point you should have received your package. If you've not got it within that period of time, then you've got every right to cancel the order, ask for a full refund, along with the delivery charges. So, there you go. That's, that's what you can do there. Now, there is a bit of an issue around what service you've got, and this is where people might mm. get a bit confused, because if you're, say, paying for an Amazon Prime subscription, you pay your 80 quid a year, what it is, give or take, and you're expecting next day delivery, well, actually, that might be what Amazon has to live up to, but other companies if in the small print it says within a reasonable amount of time, you might buy something and then you get your email through confirming it and it gives you actually quite a broad spectrum of dates where they have to deliver it within that time. So you're not necessarily entitled to have it by a certain date just because you've ordered it before Christmas. Well, what if you've ticked that box though that says three to five days or next day delivery, can you hold that company to account? Because they contract a delivery company, don't they? Yes, so, so it's the retailer that you are doing the contract with. And you can hold them to account to the extent that you'd be entitled to a refund, as we were hearing from Martin earlier. But if the package doesn't arrive, mm. then, you know, the, the common sense approach is just make sure you go and get your present somewhere if you're that desperate for it before Christmas. It makes me mad, you know. I can, I can sense that. It's frustrating. Uh, it's, uh, also, you get that thing sometimes, don't you, when with certain companies, and maybe this is a sort of regulation issue, when you can order something and they'll say, yes, we'll deliver it to you on a certain date, you have to be there. And if you're not there, we'll actually charge you to re-deliver yes. it because uh, yeah. we've had to send the driver out anyway. So you get, and I think the one that I saw was £49 then, a re-delivery fee to pay to get it well, to I mean, back to your house. Yeah, that sends on the price of your end of things. But it, yeah, that is the way a lot, a lot of companies will do it because mm. they're trying to sort out. It's a huge logistical oh, job. I can imagine, and we've had yeah. people getting in touch as well saying, do you know what? These services are quite incredible. I need a Christmas present and it arrives tomorrow. Most yeah. of the time, it does arrive on time, doesn't it? But there seems to be an increase in complaints over recent months. Or when they say they've delivered and they haven't been at your door. Mm. The fury. <laughs> Parcel fury. Honestly, I, I, 